disclaimer, I do not believe that you absolutely need alcohol to have fun. But if you do choose to drink, please do so responsibly and while of legal drinking age. Now enjoy this parody of My Drunk Kitchen. Today, we're doing it My Drunk Kitchen style. And because I'm vegan, we're doing a vegan pumpkin pie. Just cause. Some of our ingredients right here. Some more ingredients that we'll, of course we'll need. And of course my Polish Alklama holes. So we've got to cut these babies up and I don't know if there's seeds in it. So if there are seeds, I'm going to take the seeds out and then I'm going to take the inside, put it over here. I'm going to mix it with the nutritional yeast and the cinnamon and the cacao powder and the coconut oil and the banana and it's going to be yummy. Honestly, I didn't think this knife would do that much damage because it's kind of small, but it's actually in there. So it's pretty good. One down, three to go. And yes, there are seeds. I thought there wouldn't be because they're tiny, but whatever. You know, if you really think about it, taking the seeds out of a pumpkin is kind of like cleaning out a turkey for Thanksgiving. Except your hand isn't up some bird's butt and it actually smells good instead of a turkey, which it's a bird's butt, so it smells like a bird's butt. There's a big difference in the way it looks as well, because this, it looks like this. You know, taking the seeds out, whatever, blah, 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 and then put, putting them here. And this, you can eat later. However, with a turkey, you can't eat this stuff that comes out of the turkey. See what I mean? Three down, one to go. Yay, all done, we're taking the pumpkin stuff out. And I made a pumpkin tower, woo! Okay, so we're gonna blend it in a little thingy like this, with this thingy. And we're gonna put some of this, because coconut oil is good, awesome. So once it's all pureed and stuff, you put it back in the bowl. Put some sugar yeast, but only like half a teaspoon. Put a whole banana inside, just so it's nice and yummy and it's perfect. And then mix it together. Actually, it turns out we're gonna have to put it back into the blender thing because yeah, bananas doesn't, they don't puree really good by themselves, you know, just doing it with a spoon. I'm honestly trying to think of anything else that I need to put in that needs to be pureed, uh, other than the spices, the spices, that's fine. Before I do this again, because I don't wanna have to do this again. You know what? Why not add some of this Polish cherry stuff? You know what, we're gonna add some vegan cream cheese and it's gonna be like a pumpkin pie cheesecake with chocolate. It's gonna be yummy. Okay, so now we're finally done pureeing these things, so we're gonna put the other things in here, yay! And then we're gonna put the other spices and whatever, mix it with it. I mean some cinnamon and some uh, raw vegan chocolate powder thingy. And it doesn't taste that great, so I'm gonna add some uh, brown sugar so it can actually taste good. Hello, little spider. Okay, I gotta tell you something. You gotta work on killing the ants around the house because the bugs, they're just, they're everywhere. And I know you're a big spider, like you're like an inch or two big on your body. So you gotta work on, you know, eating more bugs. Like, I know you get really big and strong, and so that's good, but you gotta do your job better, you know? And feed your family, like, you know, get all the bugs and just eat them because I know when the ants come inside in the winter it's because they're hiding from the cold. But the red ants and they bite my butt and I don't like it. So you gotta eat them and and then we're good, okay? And that's why I won't kill you because I know you're a good guy or a girl. I don't know which what you are, you're a arachnid, whatever. I don't know your gender identity. But thank you, Spider, for being around and eating bugs. But you gotta do a better job. You gotta work harder, man. Like, I know you may be stuffed sometimes, but you gotta eat more. Um, thank you very much and goodbye. This much sugar looks about right. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, let's try it a little bit. Actually, that tastes good, so that's good. Awesome. Guys, okay, guys. Girls. Wait a minute. Men. You know what I hate about my hair? This. This. I put it behind my ear, put it back, put it back, but it keeps coming out. Why? Why does it do that? Because it wants to, because it's a dick. Yeah. 
because I put it back and then and it pops back up because it's mean and yeah so it shouldn't be mean it should be nice because I'm a nice person and I didn't do anything to deserve it I should maybe dye my hair a couple times but then I shaved my head when I was in high school right before an exam and then I thought that would uh, make my hair better because I dyed it so many times and I was under the influence of medications so I kept cutting my hair and whatever when I was looking in the mirror I said oh well if I cut it shorter shorter cut oh it's not even oh I gotta cut more and make it even whatever and then I ended up looking like little patches of hair on my head and then my mom's friend had to shave the rest off and that was the day right before my last exam in, in high school so yeah don't dye your hair because it'll mess up your hair. Because my hair we used to, it wasn't like this before. It wasn't all frizzy and like weird like this before. When I was younger, before I started dyeing my hair, my hair was like all smooth and shiny and awesome. Now I have to like put like loads of coconut oil in my hair to make it like not frizzy. Uh, but then my hair looks like greasy, so then it doesn't really look that great. So yeah. Hello again, little spider. Did you uh, think about what I talked about to you? Cause I would, I would gladly, like, really appreciate it if you ate all the ants in my house that were trying to come in and trying to bite my butt. Cause I don't like that. So um, I would really love that. Um, I wouldn't. When you run out of ants in my apartment, you can go to other apartments. Cause I know those ants. They like to go in other apartments too, and because they're everywhere, and they love to bite my butt because they're fire ants and they're mean, and they make my butt hurt. So can you eat them, please? Like I know you're a spider, and I'm a vegan, and I'm supposed to, you know, promote like not eating any living things. But you're a spider, and you don't really eat vegetables. So can you eat the ants for me, please? Thank you very much. I know they're little and everything, but they're like big meals for you. I know, so thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is a powder of some egg replacer. I'm gonna put about half of this thing into this thing so that it stays like instead of like being that, it's gonna be more like you know, like a pie is supposed to be and it's gonna be able to be eatable. Okay, so I'm mixing the egg vegan egg replacer with the rest of the stuff. Let's just try it. more sugar is it's all right but it needs more sugar and maybe some more cinnamon this looks about right right am I right okay so I also added like literally a pinch of salt as well so it'll be like wow yeah I don't know how that's gonna taste it should taste yummy but I don't know yet okay so let's see how this is gonna taste now Just a little bit. Actually, that's pretty good. Finally, that's perfect. Now, the per I was gonna say press, but it's called crust. That's weird. Oh my god, you guys, I just realized the most amazing thing. I am so awesome at singing when I have alcohol in my stuff. Alright, so, listen. I got my ticket for the long way around. Two bottles of whiskey by the way. And I sure would. Company. And I'm leaving tomorrow, what he say? When I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'm, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere, oh. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I got my ticket for the long way round. The one with the prettiest sky views. It's got mountains, it's got rivers, it's got sights, give you shivers. Sure will be prettier with you when I'm gone, when I'm gone. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk. You're gonna miss me by my talk. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone, when I'm gone, when I'm gone. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my head. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Yeah. Shout out to Anna Kendrick, who is awesome. And I swear to God, she's like my 
the, I wouldn't say soulmate, because this is creepy, but she's like my personality double, if you can understand what that means. Yeah, she's awesome. If I was like her age, like exact moment, I'd be like, oh my god, I'm her clone. Except she's a lot prettier than me, and she definitely seems a lot better than I do. Okay, friends, so real talk. This is about like five handfuls of um, flour. Uh, I don't really measure with like real cups, like measuring cups. So yeah, five handfuls of my tiny hands. So think Donald Trump hands and then there you go. Except my hands have like nail polish on them. But to be real though, to be real, girl, I'm pretty sure Donald Trump gets his nails done once in a while. He may not put like different kind of he may not put different colored nail polish on it, but she puts like top coat varnish or whatever, whatever it's called. I don't know because I'm not really, I'm not, you know, I don't put, clearly I don't put makeup on on a regular basis. So, yeah. Okay, so the fact that we actually, me and my mom, we fill these bottles and all these huge bottles with like spring water. Um, yeah, we're gonna use this uh, just a tiny smidge of this water and put it with this flour and then put it with this egg replacer and then it's gonna be uh, with this banana oil as well and it's gonna be the pie crust. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, so, while well, I'm kneading this dough for the big pie crust. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long to that. Hit the dance floor, hit the dance floor. I got all I need. No, I ain't got cash, I ain't got cash, I got you, baby. Baby, I don't need dollar bills at fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. I don't need dollar bills at fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. I don't need no money. As long as I can feel the feet. I don't need no money. As long as I keep dancing, oh yeah, hey. Okay, wait, is it recording? Okay. Mommy, I gotta tell you you're gorgeous. I know. <laughs> no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> of course she knows, because she's the bestest mommy. She's the bestest mommy, did you know that? Oh my god. Like, if you know the bestest mommy, then you know her, because she's the bestest mommy. I'm not, I'm not just talking about in the whole world. I'm talking about in the whole entire universe. She's the bestest mom. <laughs> she's the bestest mom. She's like a head shorter than me, but she's still the bestest mom. Like, she makes up for it in her waist size because, like, she's got. <laughs> I don't know how she fills herself with so much awesomeness and the bestness because. Like, that's why I think she's brown, because she can't contain so much awesomeness. Because she... <laughs> that's because awesomeness is fluffy and loud. <laughs> and it's like, um, a bouncy cancel. <laughs> bouncy bouncy cancel? <laughs> it's, it's like... The bouncy it's like a bouncy castle. It's uh, awesome. Everybody loves to be in a bouncy castle, even adults. Even though they, you know, they say, oh, bounty hunter. That's what I about when I was the bounty hunter. <laughs> you look like a bounty hunter before. Not right now, because <laughs> now you look like a drunk. I just look like a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, with that hair? Sure, with that hair. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> My mommy is the best. You know, I just gotta say that, because she's the bestest. When I go crazy, she's, she's yeah, I go over there. Ah! Yeah, you're showing this mess in the back of the What mess? You're, cover, you're covering the mess. You got enough face to cover the mess. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous smile. See, she's got enough gorgeous smile to cover that mess. And it's a gorgeous face. <laughs> my mommy's the best. I think my mommy has something up the back. Because you can be just something. And then... <laughs> I'm not swearing. You took that like swearing. Okay. So guys. So she says, I'm in her light, that I'm in her sunlight, when, you know, this, this is not sunlight, this is house light, or apartment 
light. I don't know what it's called. But it's not sunlight because it's 1 a.m. And it's not sunlight. So you're welcome. So mommy says something funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told her um, because she told me that I should know better not to be in her life or whatever. And I said, but I'm 23, I'm not supposed to know better, whatever. She didn't even let me finish. Because I was going to say that I'm not supposed to know better yet, because I'm only 23. And she said, what did she say? I love she forgot. She said, this beautiful, gorgeous mommy, she said that I'm her property until she dies. <laughs> That's funny, because I can't quit. I made you a block for me. <laughs> Because if I have to haul her ass everywhere, technically I'm her property. Wait, no. <laughs> technically she's my property because I'm hauling her ass everywhere. <laughs> Did I still say I'm her property? I don't even know. So my mom thinks I just said pian. When I said, I said, okay, listen, mommy. I said that it's a chocolate, a cheesecake, pumpkin pie. Okay? I did not, uh, she was asking where I get the pecan. I didn't, I didn't, there's no pecan. She's, she's weird. Okay, so I know the pie crust doesn't look fantastic like regular cooking tools, but it's gonna work for this. And I think she wants some, but she's not allowed to have it because this is chocolate. So it's gonna be all for me. It's gonna be my precious. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here gonna put okay so we're gonna put this in here and all of this in here it's gonna be delicious so this is what it looks like now and then I'm gonna put it in the oven and it's gonna be awesome you don't know how much I drink let's say I only drank one because that's how much I drink okay so the food I think is ready Putting it back. It's not listening. But the food, as you can see, is like ready. I'll even bring this. Yes, look, it's ready. Now let's cut this, cut this thing in two slices for the whole family. Me, me, me and my mommy. Because the doggies, they can't have any. So, too bad doggies. You can have whatever doggy treats you have, but you can't have chocolate because you're not human. This looks like a great slice of heaven, right? Am I right? Yeah! Because I'm the whole orchestrated behind this gorgeous event, I'm going to make this piece is going to be mine. Because I love chocolate. I love that. And I love it. It's going to be delicious. We're going to make it a little bit. for sober me for later because I'm awesome and I deserve like this much of the cake of the pie whatever because I'm awesome okay so we're gonna try how this tastes no matter how it is it's gonna be delicious because I know it is okay so it's a little bit hot but it's Just came out of the oven, but oh my god, is it good? It's so good. I am the best chef in the whole entire universe. Just saying. I'm gonna be like, bring this piece right now. I want me to make me eat your chocolate. I'm tonight. You know what? If you like that, yep. Come on, please come back for more. You know? Tell your friends. Yo, I swear it's not true. It's not like your parents telling you to like, oh my god, tell your friends. It's like me telling them, like, if you like this, and girl, boy, you gotta tell your friends. Because this is awesome. Now if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you guys. Bye.